Hey, 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 guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Georgette, again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. And guys, if you have not subscribed, after watching, not before, smash in on the subscribe, like, share, put your notifications on. Yes, you must. So you can see when I bring a video, you will get that notification. So guys, today I want to talk about a couple of things to avoid in order to become rich. And my mentor has taught me these things and I've totally implemented them in my life. So I'm sharing them with you guys. You know, and these, I too was at this place where I thought, oh, I don't have the money to invest or I don't know, I don't know the influential people to invest or to talk to. But guys, you really don't need any of that to become rich. And oh boy, am I learning that. Guys, you don't need money to become rich. If you had money then, I guess you'll be comfortable, huh? So you don't need money. Everybody out there, if you're hearing me, please share this video, guys. If you don't have money, you're at a good place. So let's get started, right? You don't need money to become rich and you don't need to know a wealthy person to become rich, all right? So one of the things to avoid, my mentors always said, it's people play the blame game. They blame the government. They blame the economy. They blame their parents. Oh, I came from a, um, a, a abusive home. There are people who blame everything that you can think of, but to look in the mirror and say, okay, I'm gonna start somewhere. It doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter if you were abused as a kid, as a, as a child. You still can become very, very wealthy. So you have to avoid that, right? Then another one is fair. We know that fair, do you? Well, I don't know if you know, I'm gonna tell you, but I've learned fair to be, my mentor taught me, that fair is false evidence appearing real. Yes, it is. It's all false. You make it up in your mind. It is totally false. And the fair is how we use that. And I used to be at this place where I use it. Well, what if I lose money? What if I invest money in this business and I lose money? What if it doesn't work? But oh my Lord, what if it does? So one, another thing to avoid is fair. Stop being so afraid. Listen, you're not gonna get 100% guarantee on anything. When you purchase, how much months <laughs> do you get when you purchase something in order to take it back to the store, All right? You get a 30-day warranty, you get a 60-day warranty. So there's no, listen, there's no lifetime guarantee or warranty on anything. You just gotta step out and believe in what you're doing that I like to say, this is working for me. As I'm doing my work and I'm doing different things, I'm like, this is working for me. So you gotta believe that it is working for you. All right, so that is something to avoid is fear, okay? And another thing that uh, my mentor always says, you know, you see, jealousy, jealousy is something that you shouldn't want to have that spirit, I call the spirit of jealousy. So jealousy is if you're driving down the road, right? And this has happened, this has happened to me hanging with people and um, you see a nice vehicle, say a Ferrari, the other day, we were in California, Los Angeles for the Christmas holidays, in California, in wine country. And what days did we went into, um, into LA? Cause we're two hours away from LA. And we drove into LA and spent the day and, um, and just had a wonderful time. And you see all the nice vehicles. You see the, the Ferrari, you see the, the uh, Maserati, you see, you see the nicest of vehicles, you know, and 
as it was uh, quite a few of us, uh, my girlfriend, who's like my sister, call her my sister, and uh, the entire family, we went out that day. And as the vehicle's here, vroom, vroom, it's, it's roaring up, it's roaring up. And the guy was in his Ferrari, it was convertible. And it was just roaring up. And I'm like, yeah, yes. You know, but on the norm, people would say, well, who do you think he is? He's showing off. He probably, that, he probably inherited that from his parents and all of that. So that's a, a trait. We need to avoid that because jealousy is going to take you away from success for yourself because what you're doing you're hating on someone because they themselves seem successful or they seem wealthy or rich right and so you are like hating on them like being a hater <laughs> let me say it like being a hater so guys this was a real quick video you know and I just wanted to give you a few things that I have learned on my journey to avoid I always I would look in the mirror and say Lord remove the spirit of jealousy from me oh God you know, and I've always been always happy for my friends when they get anything. But you can feel a certain type of way. And I know that when you see people post a certain things, like I have my mentors, my two mentors, and they would post them out shopping or on the lovely vacation. And you can be tempted to feel a certain type of way. And you know what I do for every time? Every single time my mentors post something. Whether if it's on their stories, I always put in their stories, much more blessing is coming to you. Because I understand that when you bless others, your blessing is just awaiting you to flow. You got to be happy for others. So guys, those are a few of the traits. Stop the blame game. It's not the government. It's not the economy that's keeping you back. It's not your background, whether you were abused or not. You have to avoid these traits here that I'm giving you. You have to step away from fear. What if it doesn't work? What if you lose money? Okay, let's flip that around. What if it works? What if you become a multimillionaire? Then you would have never known because you allow fear to take over. And another trait is jealousy. Be happy for someone. Bless them. And as you bless them, you allow your blessings to flow to you guys it's a really quick short video guys don't forget it's your girl georgette always i always always give you a lot of love but i would like for you to please subscribe yes please smash in on the subscribe turn your notifications on give me those thumbs up leave a comment guys the comment box is there Leave a comment, man. What is it that you're going to try to avoid in order to become very successful, very rich, wealthy, a multimillionaire like myself? Yes, waiting for the funds to show up in the account. And in the link below, guys, I'm leaving you a free gift. And it also has a step-by-step -step tutorial of, you know, just habits, you know, wealth habits, mind hacks. That you want to look into guys i've totally changed my life and so guys it's in it's all in the link below grab your free gift and check out the mind hacks and the step-by-step -step tutorial it's your girl georgette sending you a lot of love and life Mwah!